this is Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. The film I'm going to talk about right now is called He Named Me Malala. Yeah, this is a documentary about Malala Yousafzai. That's right. This is about that young lady. She was going to school. Then the Taliban came into a classroom, shot her and two of her other classmates, shot her in the head, and they really tried to kill her. But she survived, and now she's a spokesperson, you know, for the world to help young ladies to go to school. Now, this is directed by Davis Guggenheim. And you know, he's good for the uh, films in Inconvenient Truth and Waiting for Superman. Those is two great films that he directed, documentaries. Also, he's an Academy Award winning director. One thing I enjoyed about this film, I learned a lot about Malala and also about her father, her mother, her family, and what's really going on there in her little town there in Pakistan. It told the story, how it all got started, why the Taliban decided to kill her. Well, of course, you know, the Taliban is basing this on their religious beliefs, but really it's more about power about how they gonna control power there in that town in Pakistan. Anyway, Malala was a young lady when she was shot. Oh, you know, she was like, like 13, 14 years old in a classroom. Can you imagine that? And they didn't want the girls to go to school. Now, I can relate to that because I remember back in a time in my history, America didn't want African Americans to go to school. Well, in mostly in the South, in the slave areas, and we did suffer some, you know, prejudices based on our skin colors. But here, this is based on their gender, that they were female, and based on their religious beliefs. And also, the film do take us to other parts of the world, mostly in Africa, and talk about how these young African young ladies are having a hard time going to school too. Again, this is a Muslim state. I noticed though they didn't go to China or Japan, any place like that. Nah, I mean, they may have some Muslims there, but they're not like the Taliban and they're not as strong there in those countries, in those Asian countries over there about sending young ladies to school. And unfortunate for Malala and her family, she cannot return home. And they did threaten her. They said she returned home. They will kill her. Now, her father was also an educator. And he spoke out against the Taliban. And he spoke out against uh, people being unable to go to school. He did speak out about that. And also showed his history about, you know, how he got started. And then how his daughter got started, Malala. And her, her name do have a special meaning that you will see in the film too, Malala, what does it mean and what does it stand for? This is a film that I truly enjoyed and I learned a lot about the young lady. Is it exceptional? Yes, it is because it shows how this young lady went through all the tragedies in her life, but still to become a spokesman. Not only that, a, a Peace Prize winner, you know, a Nobel Peace Prize winner, and she took that home too. You learn a lot, and you also, me, I did. I had a lot of empathy for this young lady. He Named Me Malala is a three palm tree movie, three out of four. Exceptional, great to watch, and also you get the chance to see her personality. Man, I was really thrilled to see this film he named me Malala. Well, I want to thank you for watching me, Al McGee, at your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com.